I've been fucking hoes and popping pillies, man, I feel just like a rock star. All my brothers got that gas and they always be smoking like a rock star. Fucking with me, call up on no Uzi and show up, man, them the shot toss. When my homies pull up on your block, they make that thing go grata ta ta. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to do a really, really beautiful Hollywood glam kind of Christmas holiday Hollywood makeup look. <laughs> I have no idea. So you're probably wondering like, Kim, why the fuck do you have long hair? I'm wearing extensions right now. I will put the links to the extensions down below. And I also just went to my hairdresser who did my hair in this really, really beautiful old Hollywood glam kind of hairstyle. I still have the clips in so that everything stays in place while filming. Um, but I'm just gonna do the makeup, take the clips out, and then just gonna slay. But for today, I just wanna do this look. I think this look will be really, really pretty for the holiday season. So you can definitely wear this to Christmas or to New Year's Eve. And I'm trying to keep it more wearable, so I'm not trying to cake it up like I usually do. I already did my brows and I carved them out because I just wanna save time. If you wanna see how I do my brows, I will put the link in the description down below. It's always there, but if you didn't know, you can check out the description down below. I'm just gonna prime the eyes, and for today I'm not gonna do any close-ups because I'm just gonna do a really, really easy look. So, um, yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna start off with my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. And I always like to apply this one with my fingers just because it's easy and, I don't know, it works best for me. And I feel so different because you guys know I have shorter hair and I actually always wear my hair in a bun because I just don't like loose hair. I just think it's really, really annoying. Um, I know I'm crazy, but I just don't like it because my hair is pretty, it's not pretty thick, but I have a lot of hair. So my neck gets warm so easy. Okay, but now I'm primed. I'm gonna put this away. Then the brow bone, I'm just gonna go in with a white eyeshadow and I'm just using the NYX Whipped Cream Eyeshadow. Um, and I'm just gonna apply this on the brow bone. By the way, I'm still figuring out where I want to film because I redid my office area in my house. And it's either another video before this, but the video before that even, I think with the candle lights on the background. And it's also a little bit more zoomed in. And I'm just filming in my living room. So for today's look, I'm using the Morphe 25A palette. Just taking my Morphe MB23 brush and I'm just going in with the first shade from the palette. And I'm just going to apply that shade along the crease. The shade is a little bit more peachy, but if you want to do a cool shade, you can definitely do that too. But I'm just blending the shade into my crease and also winging it out a little bit. And this shade is going to act as my transition shade. So I just want to do a really, really soft cut crease today. Nothing too dramatic, um, so that it's more wearable. I'm going to take a nice brown shade on my Morphe E17. And I'm just going to apply that and deepen up the crease. So I'm not sure if I want to apply a liner with this look. Um, it definitely will look very, very pretty. But I just feel like my eyes aren't... I don't know. I just don't like liner on my eyes. By the way, I'm going back in with the previous brush. There is nothing new on it. I'm just going to blend it out. Um, but I just feel like I make my eyes a little bit larger with the cut crease and then I'm gonna make them smaller again with the liner and I already don't have a lot of space on my eyelid and then I'm just gonna apply eyeliner over it I just feel like it doesn't look as flattering um, but if you have bigger eyes or if you think eyeliner looks pretty by the way I'm taking a little bit darker shade on that same brush I just used and I'm gonna deepen up the crease a little bit more on the outside. 
I want to keep this really soft, so this is the darkest I'm gonna go. You can keep it even softer if you want, using the previous brush just in between um, to blend everything out. And now with my Morphe M24 brush and my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, I'm just gonna cut the crease. And if you want eyeliner, you can go for a full cut crease. But because I don't want a eyeliner, I think I'm just gonna do a half cut crease. Okay, so um, I connected the inner corner to the cut crease. So instead of starting uh, right on the lid, I started all the way over here. I'm just trying to blend the line a little bit so that it becomes a little bit more softer. And I'm not gonna um, redefine the crease with a small brush like I usually do. Because I just want to keep it more soft. I am going to take a clean brush and just blend the line a little bit because I don't want it to be too harsh. Now taking the two brown shades again, I'm just going to blend this outer corner. If you have a hard time blending over concealer, make sure to dab down some color, then blend after. And then just blend that in again. And this is the first brush. I didn't apply any product to it. I'm just using it to blend. Using my Anastasia A27, I'm picking up that really, really pretty gold shade and I'm going to apply that to the center. And by the way, I wetted my brush just a little bit so that the pigment is even better. I'm taking this lighter shade for the inner corners. Grabbing a little makeup wipe to wipe away any fallout. I'm just gonna move on to the face and jump right in with my Benefit Professional Primer. I'm just gonna apply a little to my nose, forehead, and right around here. Now taking my Jouer Anti Blemish Matte Primer. Use my Hourglass Finish Stick in the shade Alabaster. So I applied a nice amount of foundation and I'm just going to blend it in with my Morphe blending sponge. I really really like this foundation but you do need quite a lot to get a full coverage base like this. I'm just going to use my Jouer brush to blend down my neck. Moving on to the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, I'm using the shade Chantilly. Moving right along to Fendi Beauty Matchstick in Amber. By the way, this is the first time I'm using this sponge. I always use a beauty blender because I just love beauty blenders. But this works so well too. I really like this for my cream contour because this shape really hugs the cheekbone. Oh my god. And you can really easily manipulate it and it also has a smaller side so i really really like this sponge and it's really good and i also like that you can make it more straight for the like nose area now using my laura mercier translucent loose setting powder just gonna set the face and bake the bridge of my nose and then i'm also gonna apply a little bit more of powder underneath the eyes because i'm gonna work on the lower lash line now so now using that same brown shade underneath the lower lash line. And I'm just gonna sweep away any excess powder. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of bronzer and I'm using Sunkiss by Makeup Geek. And I'm using my Morphe M527. Taking my contour powders by Makeup Geek. Using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Radiant Blush Kit and I'm taking the shade Breeze. Just gonna soften that a little. I face a little spritz with the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. Again using my loose highlighter in the shade Cleo to glow up the face. And for lashes today, I used Anitude Worry Lashes, and I will put a discount code in the description down below. Now the last thing to do is lips, and I'm gonna do red lips. Um, I have, let me see, Anastasia Beverly Hills American Doll, and Anastasia Beverly Hills Neon Apple. 
and the American Doll is a liquid lipstick. The Neon Apple is a lip gloss, so I first want to do matte, see how that looks, and maybe turn it into a glossy lip. I think this red is a really, really iconic red. You can do lip liner first if you want to, but I'm just going to go right in. So I think for this look, I'm just going to keep my lips matte because I really, really like how it looks. So then I'm just going to set my face once more, take my hair pins out, and then I'll be right back for the outro. I hope you enjoyed this somewhat different, at least for me, look. And um, also my long hair, the background. I just hope you guys loved the video. If you did, then please subscribe to my channel. And also don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Again, thank you so much for watching. I love you and I will see you in my next video. Bye!